All right, welcome back. This is part three of the video series on how to solve a Rubik's Cube. If you've done part one, if you watched part one, you understand the mechanics of the cube. And if you've done part two, you've got this six. So before you work on this step, have your cube and have these six done. One, two, three, four, five, six, two red, three white, two orange. If you see that, we're ready to go. Now the next step is to do the same exact thing we did here, but on the other side. So now the right side is going to have six green. Remember, blue is always opposite green. So it's going to be totally a mirror reflection. You're going to see red on the front. You're going to see three whites on the bottom. You're going to see two oranges on the backs. And you're going to see six green here, six blue here. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing to remember is our restricted moves. Now that we have the back solved, the front solved, and this solved, we can no longer do front moves, we can no longer do back moves, and we can no longer do down moves. We can move this, we can move this, we can move this. And that's what we can do, that's it. We can move these two at the same time too, that's fine. Um, but my fingers are going to be constantly locked on this. So, can't do any move here. Oh, can't do any move here. Keep checking here, make sure you didn't mess anything up over here. We're going to do it pretty much the same way as we did before. So the first thing we need is the green-white edge to go right here. So I'm going to find my green-white edge. And where is it? I'm looking. It's right here. So if it's right here, I need to get it up to the top. And look, when I try to pair them up, they're going to be opposites. Green, white, green. If you remember and you're paying attention in the first video, you remember that when you bring an edge across, it changes color. So when I bring this across, it goes from green on top to white on top. So after I bring it across, they're going to match up. So then once they're matched up, I'm just going to bring them down to the bottom like this. And now I have green, green, white. I'm um, going to get this out of the way so it's not confusing. This one too. Okay. Green, green, white. That's all that matters. Green, green, white. And I did it with only R moves, U moves, and M moves. The next thing we need to do is get our green red into the loading position. So I'm going to look for my green red. And now it's pretty restricted on where it can be. It can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It can't be here because we already did this one. So we look, it's right here, green, red. So I'm going to bring it over here, bring it down to the bottom. All right, so the green's looking at me. Now I find my green, red, white corner, which can only be in six places. One, two, three. Four, five, six. I see it's right here. I see we have the same problem as before. There's white on top. So I have to put it in my rotation corner. I have to do my move R prime, U, R. It's very important to bring it back down. If I forget to bring it back down, then now my white's sticking out the back side and it's going to confuse us. So always keep, make sure you bring that back down. Now look, red, green, white. Red does not match green, means it's going to match in the back row. So I put my red here. No, I don't because that's white sticking out. I need to put it here where white's sticking to the right. Green's going to match up with red back here because it's going to go green. And then when I flip it again, it's going to go red. So now I have these two. Don't worry about this one. We're not worried about the yellows right now. We're going to put these two right here. And the way we do that is R, U prime, R prime. They go right there. Now we have one, two, three, four, two red, two white. Now, I want you to take a second and try to guess what goes here. All right, if you said green, orange, you're awesome. If you didn't, you might still be awesome. I'm not sure, I don't know you. So I look for my green orange, not here, not here, not here, not here. That's green yellow, not here. Must be here. So it's down here. I need to get it out of here. So what I'm going to do to get it out of here is I'm going to turn this, move my edge. So I'm going to do the same thing I did to rotate this corner. I'm going to do R, R prime, U, R. So now it's out of the way, it's on top, and it needs to go down here. So I do M to bring it down there. I have orange, green. And I look for my green, orange, white corner. 
green, orange, yellow, green, orange, white. So I want you to try to figure out A, B, C, D. Where should this corner be with the white stick <gasps> sticking out? If I leave it in A, what's going to happen? They're going to be matched opposite. If I go to B, white sticking out the back, still going to be opposite, still not going to work. If I were to go to D, the tops would match up, but the white sticking towards me, which isn't good. So the correct answer is C, right here. Mm. So I need to do the same move, but in the back here. So I need to do R prime U R to get those into position. Now, I didn't get to demonstrate something, so I'm going to do that now. Um, these edges, once you get them paired up, they're either going to be orange, orange, green, green, so orange on top, or they're going to be greens on top. If they're greens on top, uh, you remember last time when we had blues on top over here, all we did was we moved them like this, and then we just slid them right down. But we can't do that here now. We can't do this move because it'll mess up what we've already done over here. And if we have our death grip and we try to do it, spin, oh, no, can't spin, okay. So the way that you're gonna do this is you're gonna do something called a right wedge, where you're gonna do R prime and M at the same time. So you're gonna move these two pieces simultaneously, and now that's gonna turn that into orange, and then you're gonna do a U prime, and then you can turn them both back. So I'll show you that one more time. So you got greens on top. Do right wedge inverse. You're going to do this. And that's going to go in. Same thing happens on the front. If for some reason I have... Okay, so if I have green on top. I want to just slide it in here. I try to do this. Oh, but now I'm messing up all my blue stuff over here. So I'm not allowed to do that. So I'm going to do right wedge to bring it the reds on top, then I'm going to do a U to slide it into position here, then I'm going to bring it back down. Do one more time. Greens on top. All right. Beautiful. So, um, this will lead us into our next step, which is going to be solving these four corners, which is pretty fun. Uh, and by fun, I mean probably the most difficult part of the whole thing. Um, and it's not that difficult even. I just think this stuff is pretty easy. Uh, I still have a little bit of time. I'm going to run these videos to 10 minutes. So I'm going to do an example solve of the first two steps. If you feel like you have a good grasp on things and you've already got yours done, feel free to skip to the next video. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have blue on the left side. I'm going to look for my blue-white. I'm, look, I'm rotating, you know, I'm not moving my hand. I see it's right here. I need to get this piece next to my blue. So the way to do that is I'm going to turn this back side up. Now it's right here. Now I'm going to turn like this. And now they're together. Now I see that this is here. This is my blue-red. So I'm going to put my blue-red here in the loading position. Look for my blue-red-white corner. It's right here. White's on top. We don't like that. So we're going to put it in our rotation corner. Bring it here. Turn this way. Load it up because we have blue. So this was blue and this is blue. White's pointed out. They match up. I just do a front move. Restricted moves now. Front and down I can no longer do. Look for my orange. Orange blue is right here. Bring it down into loading position. Look for my orange white blue which happens to be right next to it. They weren't paired up though because uh, the, if you look the white's actually pointed towards us. So if I just change this and point it away they go together really nice. Slide it down. Next piece, I'm going to hurry through this because I'm running out of time. I see my white greens here. If I try to match it up, they don't match over here. So I need to bring this across to become white on top. Bring it down here. Green white's done. Look for my green red center, which is right here. Look for my green red white top right here. Bring it up together. Green's on top, so I have to do my right wedge up right wedge inverse, and look, this already got into position here. Blue, I'm sorry, green, orange, I'm getting my colors all mixed up. White's on top, need to rotate it away. Bring, be sure when you rotate it away that you bring this back down. 
green, green, bring it together, turn, and we're done. All right, so once you have this and this, you're ready to move on to the next step. And we're getting there. I, I promise uh, we're, uh, we're getting through the hard stuff right now. All right, goodbye.